Listen, friend. There is no leader in this world. We have been looking for a leader. We keep hearing the government talking about a one world system. We keep hearing the president talking about a unified government. The United States now is losing value of its dollar. The economy is in a mess. If all countries come together to have a one world currency and a one world bank and a one world system, then who will be the one world leader? There is no one world leader in the world today. The world is crying for a leader, but there cannot be a leader until the world is in a mess. The world has to be in a mess for a leader to come on and have a reason for becoming the leader. The world has to be crying for a voice, for a voice to come forward. There is a wilderness now crying for a voice. There used to be a voice crying in the wilderness. Now there's a wilderness crying for a voice. People are asking who will lead us to freedom. The Bible teaches us when the world is in a mess, the world will cry out, somebody help us. As they said once, whether it be God or a devil, the world is crying for somebody to come on the scene and help us unite so we can stop the terrorist attack. The government is spying on you every day. There are cameras up and down the street. They are probably listening to you when you talk on the telephone. Why? The Antichrist will use the system. The Antichrist must have the system. The devil can't be everywhere at the same time like God. So he has demons and he has to have people working for him. And now the system is going to work for this leader. Anti in the, in the Bible means against or imitate. He could be a, he's against God and yet he's trying to imitate God. The devil wants to be like God. In Isaiah chapter 14, Satan was saying, I will be like the Most High. I will be above the Most High. The devil wanted to be worshipped. And since Satan didn't get worshipped as he wanted it in heaven, he got kicked out of heaven and he wants the world to worship him. So therefore he will create a man. Because a man sin, there will come a man of sin. If man had not sinned, we wouldn't have to worry about a man of sin. Because Adam sinned in the garden, now we're looking for a man of sin, which will be the Antichrist. Science said man came from a beast, but man came from man, from God. But now we're headed toward the beast. And the Bible said this man is a beast. He's like a beast. Now, he's not like some cartoon coming out of the sea with some horns like you see on Hollywood. But he will have beastly characters. Keep this in mind. This man cannot come on the scene until the world is in need. He is alive, I believe. I believe he's walking around. You probably sat and had breakfast with him and didn't know it. He's coming just the way Jesus came. The devil is trying to imitate God. God had Jesus as his man. The devil would have his man. The Antichrist is not the devil. The Antichrist is the devil's man. The devil is the dragon. The devil will give him power. Like God gave his son power. And the Antichrist is come up on, coming up and rise up from out of nowhere with nothing. Just like Jesus who was born and came up from out of nowhere with nothing. He would do his worst work in the last three years. Jesus did his best work in the last three years. The Antichrist will be devil made. Jesus was God made. 
Now, before I get into the mark, let's follow the word. And I stood upon the sands of the sea. What is the sand of the sea? Think about people. So this beast that John saw represent this man. He's coming from among the people. Who's behind this war? Who's behind all of this? I know you think it's the devil. It's not the devil. It's God. God is orchestrating this whole thing. God is going to raise this man up. God's going to take the church out of here before the great tribulation period. But we witnessing crime that you ain't going to stop. I don't care who in office. I don't care who runs and who's the president. Nobody else going to get you out of this. This is guided by the hand of God to bring an end to history. And God is using the devil. Why should God kill the devil? If the devil wouldn't have some of us, we wouldn't be here. You're all here today right now watching me because the devil's after you. <laughs> Where that preacher sing with them overalls on. I can, I can, <laughs> I'm going history, baby. You don't know if the devil after me. <laughs> God put the devil right on your case and made you come to church. So God used the devil. And God's not going to kill the Antichrist to the right time. If God take the Antichrist out, he would lie. Hmm. Who is the Antichrist? Some people thought it was Martin Luther King. Some people thought it was Hitler. Some people thought it was Abraham Lincoln. Some thought it was Mussolini. Some thought it was Stalin. Some people thought it was Kennedy. And I'll show you why in the Word. So he rise up out the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. Who's that remind you of? Rome. Rome sits on seven hills. And right before your very eyes, in the year of 2000, the Roman treaty was signed called the European Common Market, the EC. It has come back together, and it has its own army, but it doesn't have a leader. Look what it says here. Hmm. And the beast which I saw was like a leopard. How would Antichrist will have Caesar, Mussolini, Stalin, Martin Luther King, his speech, anybody great and anybody vicious and anybody powerful all in one. Every last one of them will be in this one man. And he'll be like a leopard. Why is he describing the Antichrist like a leopard? Because he's going to reach every country. You notice a leopard, the different colors of the world. He's yellow in one part of his body, which represents the brown race. He's white, which represents the white race. He has black spots, which represent the black race. You combine all those three colors, that's the world. The entire Christ will come and he will reach all nations. Brown, black, and white. That's why he's called a leopard and he will be fast, quick. He's going to come to power so fast you won't know what to do. What else is he like? He's not only like a leopard, he's like a bear. That once a bear grabs you, he grabs you and snatches you. And when the Antichrist grabbed this system, he will snatch it and hold it to himself and devour it. But he's also like a lion. He can roll. He can speak. And people will get scared. And they will fear him because he rolls like a lion. All that's in one man. 